All right, what's going on, guys? Lightning Thunderbolt here. We are back, as promised. Uh, it looks like uh, this is the IGN uh, official um, YouTube channel. Uh, I'll put the link to the video in the description. But uh, as it had been said, it was confirmed uh, the um, there was uh, some more uh, gameplay for Sonic Frontiers revealed today. Uh, I got to watch this earlier with uh, with some friends on uh, Discord. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and I I've already seen it once. But now we're going to jump back in and analyze some of the details. So if you haven't seen it yet... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So let's go. Uh, let's go bit by bit here. I'll comment as we go, and then I'll like go back uh, if I spot anything. But you know, I'll give my commentary as we go. So yeah, we get a view of the world here. So today they said they're just doing world exploration and everything. So already right off the bat, we see this is clearly the Sonic Forces model, and I'm like, eh, you know, the the, the running. All always kind of looked weird on that, as with the standing animation. The max speed run is fine, though. Now, something already I noticed right there, he has, like, attacking, punching animations, which is kind of interesting. Don't like the fact that they were using the Force's jump ball. I want to go back to that for a second, actually. I don't know if you saw that, but look again. He's got the stomp. Now, watch what happens here. Did you see it? That click sound right there. You had like that, that click sound. Sonic didn't even jump. You 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 press something and he automatically homing did a homing attack. So is there an attack button that lets you perform a homing attack animation like to directly attack? Yeah, I think so. So these colored walls. This, this is kind of a weird thing here. I don't really understand why we have like the, you know the the certain colored wall. It makes sense in with, with Sonic, but like there's certain multicolored walls you can run up, and I guess climb and everything. But it's like, oh, why are we bringing back a thing from Knuckles, uh, from Sonic Boom? Like, because cause Knuckles had those cloud walls. I don't know. It's just, it's a minor detail, but I think that's a minor nitpick. It doesn't really matter that much. Oh, interesting frame to pause on here. Notice some, uh, get some detail with the environment, the hieroglyphics. So these are, like, this is like the tower and everything. But yeah, it's, it's kind of cool that you can run up those walls. So I guess, you know, I, I kind of like that. But yeah, we're seeing sort of just the world exploration. Now this, I have to admit, was something I was kind of annoyed by here. I was like, I saw these and I'm like, I was like, purple coins? Is this, is this like another Mario thing? Like, why? Just, just what? Ugh. But, you know, we don't know what they're for yet. I mean, there could be a bunch of different collectibles. Uh, it, it just seems weird seeing coins in Sonic when we're supposed to be seeing rings. But let's, you know, let's see what they're for. Um, my friend Eclipse pointed out, he's like, hey... There look to be like um, Chow, uh, Chow shaped heads or uh, emblems on these things. So I wonder if that means that Chow are going to be making a return. Uh, there was something later in the video, but we'll get into that. Notice in the background, we see uh, some pretty interesting looking rails. And we see that shrine that looks like uh, the shape of a chaos emerald. So maybe th those are the supposed cyberspace levels. Uh, but yeah, we'll keep going. a weird kind of out of place sound. I'm not really sure what they're for or why they decided to go with that aesthetic. The environment looks kind of nice. Now, th this this I thought was kind of weird. Like, why is Sonic wall climbing? I mean, I guess it's an interesting mechanic, but like you can run anyway, so like, why wouldn't you? It's like climbing his knuckles thing. Always seemed like a weird thing to me, you know? The textures are kind of interesting. Um... I did want to go back just briefly for a moment, because um, like something I noticed right away, sort of towards the beginning, we were at like what 125ish. But right here, like I don't know if you noticed, because uh, this is probably the using Hedgehog Engine two since it's using Forces model. But then you look right there, like oh look how clean it is, look how smooth it runs. You see this? But then al already you're noticing in engine lag. That's not YouTube. That's in engine lag. It's like they're, they're already doing this in-engine lag when there are more particles. Like, see, you're making a big open world, and there's already, like, some slowdown. So it's like they're like, oh, the, four, the Hedgehog Engine 2 is great. But, like, you see this, and you're like, yeah, but you, you didn't do that, that many, like, really big worlds and forces. So, but, you know, it could be an early build. There could be, like, optimization and stuff. I think the forces model is here to stay since we're, like, actually getting gameplay. But, yeah, anyway. Um, oh, nope, that was, uh, let's go to the wall climb. That's where we left off. So anyway, you notice like the clicking sound when he sort of like runs up something. Just sort of like, uh, 
watch there. Like, listen right here. That click is probably the, the homing attack lock-on sound. And those are kind of like... The, the balloons are, are kind of like... I look at them, the ones in this game are kind of like cheap homing points from, uh, like from Sonic Boom. Like that, that it, it kind of reminds me of that. I'm seeing more and more parallels between it. it it's still sort of a nitpick, but at the same time, it, it does make me worried. But, but I don't know, I'll, I'll stop like nitpicking about that and we'll move on. This seems like there's something that should be here, a collectible, maybe something you activate. So I'm not sure, that, that kind of looks interesting to me. Detail on the rings looks kind of nice, but it also seems somewhat cheap. I don't know. I think we got a better view of the Emerald Shrine here. Uh, nope, that, hang on. We'll be back in a few seconds. Yeah, we got a better view before, I suppose. But yeah, we'll, we'll get a better view when Sonic's on the ground, I think, later. But uh, it, it looks like there's some interesting stuff surrounding that. There's quite a bit of terrain and rail surrounding that one. So it'd be interesting to see what's there. Anyway, notice how the rings have this interesting animation. They they sort of look like um, it, it, it sort of seems like rings are collectibles. You're gonna kind of notice that there's like a like hearts or a health system in this. I, I think is what we're getting the impression of. But then again, I'm not sure. But that does confirm the leak of like uh, a while back saying like, oh, rings are collectibles in this. So they'll they'll be used for you know something else. So eh, that, that's kind of interesting. Rail hopping. Hang on, that I just noticed something else there. That was kind of weird. Did that rail animation look? Uh... Yeah, I think he ho he flipped left. That's not supposed to happen. That was the correct direction. And uh, as you've been noticing once again, it's probably a good thing to pause on. As you've likely been noticing once again. Um... The uh, Sonic has like a, a boosting animation, but he doesn't gain boost. It's just like a speed burst. So that's probably better with pic like the fixation on uh, or the focus on combat. That's definitely a plus. Although it uh, makes me a little concerned because I'm like, it, you'll see there's not really much that they do, not really anything they do in terms of combat. I guess it's because they're choosing to focus on exploration this time around. But you know, show us a little because there was one enemy. Also, there's these heart objects that are around. I guess these are the collectibles, but. Are these the orbs that they were talking about? Um, and if so, what do they do? So I'm kind of interested to see like what that's about. Let's move on. It looks like something that uh, you have to interact with. Not showing us that. Bash panels have kind of a cyber aesthetic. A lot of the terrain has a mix of cyber and, and nature, which I can see why that's sort of taking from Breath of the Wild. The aesthetic of this place, uh, is of the, the general nature surroundings, is definitely taken from uh, Titanic Plain, which is good. Um, still noticing some in-engine slowdown, though. Um, but this is somewhat interesting. There's another one of those hearts, those collectibles. And then that's a different looking collectible. That looks like a... that might be like a health collectible or something. Or a health pickup, I don't know. But I kind of like the di the dynamic camera angles. It seems like it would be pretty easy to do, though. I guess his wind box kind of knocks that down. So it looks like you're going around. Here, here's an enemy here. This kind of looks interesting. All right. So two things I want to point out in that interaction. You sort of noticed uh, that enemy looked uh, a little bit like uh, like the wheel Kirby, the, the, like a wheel enemy from Kirby. Uh, there's some more of those other. Hang on, I should pause at that. Okay, right there. Uh, top right, right next to the heart, like right around here. Uh, that's another one of those um, enemies with multiple orbs that we saw Sonic uh, punching and kicking and doing like chain attacks to in the previous trailer from the other day. So I, I kind of noticed they're still there. And here, here's this weird looking wheel enemy. And yeah, right there, he does quick step. I mean, I guess it is, like, the boosting-type Sonic animation. Uh, well, boosting-styled Sonic, it's just... It, it, it bothers me that they're still using quick step, step and most, quick step and most likely Drift. Because I'm like, well, if it's combat-focused and Sonic can run around freely, why not just, like, give him a better turning radius? I don't know if Spin Jump is going to be able to fully damage enemies. We'll have to look back at the footage again. 
to see if it, it if he stays in spin jump animation. But yeah, I mean, I, I never really liked the idea because you know bumpers are going to be quick step most likely, triggers are going to be drift, and to me it's like that just it kind of kneecaps Sonic's move set because it's like. Why you could use those for ultimate moves or or camera uh, movement, I suppose, or just you know a bunch of different move moves in uh, Sonic's move set. That could be a thing. So it it just it just feels weird that we're doing open world, but we're still needing to use quick step and drift when Sonic's going to be using a lot of his attacks to have like agility, avoid uh, enemy attacks, and launch attacks of his own. It just seems gratuitous. So, but I don't know. I guess that's still going to be a thing. But continuing on. Seems like you're just uh, doing multiple interactions with the environment, and uh, you have plenty of time to redo it. Seems like it has like a wall running animation that's kind of interesting. It looks a little bit unfinished at this point. Uh, the rainbow rings. Okay, so is this the rainbow rings look kind of like a cy have a cybernetic aesthetic. Also, I sort of noticed like, did you see this here? Uh, when he goes through the rainbow rings. It looks like they've brought back the Generations uh, trick system. So he goes through the Rainbow Ring. Oh, sorry. I went back a little too far. But yeah, when he goes through the Rainbow Ring, it looks like he gets to do uh, tricks and stuff. Yeah, but what, what would the tricks add to? Is that experience or something? And it seems like there's only one animation. That seems maybe maybe that's just unfinished. I don't know. Yeah, like listen, I'm sorry, but I I, I gotta point out the elephant in the room. Like the, the the max speed run animation is fine, but the standing animation and especially the normal run animation for for force the forces model, like his spines look a little bit of a deeper blue. They look like a bit longer, so it it looks slightly better. But even still, I don't know. You look at that run, and I'm like. I'm sorry, he just looks kind of constipated when he's running. You know, it's... I, I just... I'm sorry. I just... I feel like they could have used the Unleashed model and it would have been better. But, um... Nah, it's just with the Forces model, his, his run looks kind of constipated. Like, uh -huh, gotta go fast! To the nearest bathroom! Uh -huh, it's, you know... And, and yeah, you're... By the way, Roger is confirmed. You'll, you'll hear it in a voice clip later on, but I'll get into that later. See, that animation looks fine. When he's running at maximum speed, that looks okay more tricks. I guess there's some slightly different trick animations. Seems a little strange. So here's some more like interacting with the environment and everything. With these statues. That that uh, holding animation did not look clean and he's not moving it. <laughs> what was what, what, he using the force like? At that that looks like a, a little bit weird. I'm kind of hoping they have him move and push it. Look, look at that run. That just it, it just bothers me. All right, listen right here. L listen to the voice clip right here. We've never heard any Sonic voice clips in this entire thing. We'll get a spin cycle, a view of the spin cycle. Like you know, I, I guess it's not necessarily guaranteed, but you hear that and it's like. But that was that was definitely a Roger voice clip. It's I'm like ninety percent sure. But I don't know. It it bothers me that they're still using Roger because if we have Flynn writing the story, it lends itself to like a more serious story. If Roger can do a serious Sonic, by all means, I'm all for it. But I don't know. He always has like this goofy kind of sound with Sonic's voice, and it's always bothered me because he hasn't proven yet that he can do a serious Sonic. And I before this age is poorly, let me just say. Like, do I do I dislike Roger as a person? No. Do I dislike him as a voice actor? No. I dislike him as the voice of Sonic because, you know, you felt like there was a natural evolution from Jaleel to Ryan, from Ryan to Jason, and it felt like we regressed with Roger. That was due in part to the writers, but Roger has said that he prefers more of a comedic voice style, and it's like Sonic had a more serious style before then. I get that need to be more lighthearted with colors and generations, but again, we've been over this. That's not the kind of aesthetic we wanted for the next 10 years. It's good that we have Flynn writing the story, but it, I don't know, it's its going to be kind of cringy if we, like, hear, um, 
if we hear like Roger's voice doing Sonic and it's the same like tone we've sort of heard before where he's constantly joking around. Roger can do a serious Sonic. I've heard a few serious voice voice clips like um in of all things Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisps, but it just it, it kind of bothers me that there's only a few times that he actually like gets into that element here and there. Like I think it was the clip where Tails asked him, did you get all that? And he goes, yeah, the only thing I didn't hear was where I can find these guys. Like, when he did that, I'm like, that was good delivery. That was better on, on that part. And it's like, I just, you know, I haven't seen enough serious Sonic out of Roger, but I'm, I'm, I would love to be proven wrong. I, I hope we, we uh, get, um, you know, basically Roger's first really good uh, serious Sonic out of this game. Anyway, I want to go back and review Spin Cycle again real quick. Oh, please improve that that standard run, please. It's like, it's not that big a deal, but if the gameplay feels stiff, then it's going to be noticeable. But we, it's too hard to tell if time actually slows down. Let me look at the animation of the fire. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if the fire slows down. This cyberdeck flame. Maybe a little, and it seems like with Spin Cycle, if it were to slow down time to make it easier to attack enemies, and then... Alright. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it looks like using Spin Cycle to interact with uh, environmental set pieces uh, spawns in new collectibles and new set pieces, which is somewhat interesting. Um, I feel like the other thing to note there is, remember we saw Sonic it seemed like he automatically jumped when he used the spin cycle to hit the enemy. Um, however, it looks like that's uh, not automatic. It looks like uh, you can you can sort of tap the button to go into more combos, which is honestly better. I'm hoping that gives him an automatic higher jump specifically for when he's trying to combo an enemy. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Here was uh, someone on Twitter actually posted this clip, so it looked like there was a view of, mo of like momentum in the game. So you watch Sonic sort of running down this. Is, there's not much. He, he used the boost thing there. Going uphill, he he kind of slows down. It's just using the um, the burst of speed or the replacement boost to sort of gain momentum. That seagull looks kind of stiff. People were saying that it, it runs faster than Sonic, and they were nitpicking that too. I I want to see that rail section. Go back to that. We saw that that in the trailer. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, go back. Where have we seen that before? Hold on. Did anyone else notice that? He runs through this field. He's running through this, this plane, and all of a sudden, jumps, drops down. Y'all remember that? Sonic 06, right, guys? You, you remember the, um... The, the 2005, like, beta unreleased trailer that is, is is all over YouTube at this point, but no one knows where the original one was. That that thing where he, like, runs and, like, does that backflip off and sort of jumps down into the forest and then the robots chase him. It's, I mean, I'm, nit I'm like, I'm making a reach here, but it's, it's, it's like, I see what you're doing there. You're trying to appeal to, like, some more, like, serious stuff. But, you know, deliver it with the story and match it with, like, the tone of, like, the gameplay and the voice acting, too. Like, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, that uh, seagull or uh, animal of the avian variety looks uh, somewhat stiff with its animation. But it's kind of peaceful and you can run along with it. I sort of like that. Yeah, it's a seagull. It's a seagull. Okay. So he's running to this tower. Seems like you can wall, wall run pretty smoothly. So I guess that's kind of nice. And here's sort of a puzzle, but I think we got a view of the, uh, we got a view of the, uh, the Emerald Shrine again in this section, so I want to go back over this. Yeah, he sort of has a slightly faster run there. That's the full speed run, which is better. Like, that looks fine. That doesn't look good. When he's transit, it's the transition run that doesn't, that look, that just doesn't look that great. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, was that poppin', was that poppin' I saw, hold on. 
Wait. Uh, okay, all right, render distance. All right, but that one, mm, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Again, like, my thing is, like, if gameplay's fine, it's, I'm not going to nitpick about that because I don't usually, but I'm seeing this because we, we have so little to go on with this game so far, so we have to use this to, like, get impressions and everything. That uh, spiral rail up there has to have something of a spring. So then we have this tower. The lighting looks all right. Doesn't seem like the the bloom is too overdone, but I don't know. Where where was the view of the Emerald Shrine? We sort of got a better one here. No, was I wrong? Could have sworn we did. I need to. Uh, I'm sorry. I know this is probably driving guys crazy. Me looking back at this. Let me let me look one more time. Maybe it was up there. I feel like the Emerald Shrine is supposedly around there. Yeah, stuff stuff is uh, spawning in. That's honestly kind of strange. I could have sworn we got a, a view of it from below as well. But oh well. Something that I noticed that I don't really like is like, yeah, they're doing all these weird stone... Um, uh, the, these piles of stone, the stone stackings and everything... But why are they just reusing the same one over and over and over and over again? It's like, yeah, they probably use that to spawn it in easy, but I don't know. just bothers me a little, but hey, you know, you can't fault too many games for that because there are a lot that do that. You do that to kind of save time. I'm hoping we get some more NPCs and robots rather than just terrain and um, like that, uh, the dash panel and spring interactions. No HUD, by the way. No, like, uh, display of rings or amount of collectibles. This one kind of bothered me for an obvious reason, because of, like, oh, no, it's the Sonic... Bo it's the... it's the, You'll see, it's like it's the floor plate puzzle from Sonic Boom. But they, they made it a little more intuitive rather than just, like, touching the tiles. So I kind of like that a bit better, because it's sort of like Blue Sphere. Because they demonstrate if you just get onto it and just walk all over it, you, you, you have to step... I wonder if you can jump and it's okay, but you probably have to stay on it square by square. But they make it so you actually have to chain it um, and stay running on the ground, and that's what will activate it and, and give you the collectible. So that's that, that that's nice that they made it like a bit more intuitive. There, there's some puzzles. It's kind of interesting. I guess not all the stone structures are the same, but there are some that look very similar. Okay, here. So these, I don't know if you noticed that, but these little things like moved around. They were they were clearly like you know NPCs or uh, animal familiars of sorts. But the, I think they said there was another leak that confirmed, hey, there's like stone Koroks of sorts in the game, or like Korok equivalents, like from Zelda. But you you listen carefully to the noises. I'm just gonna stay quiet and have you guys listen to this. Right here. So I don't know if you guys actually heard that. Those were chow noises. And if that's the case, it's like, okay, chow are back. That's, that's exciting. But how do we interact with them? You know, what, what's, the, what's the point? Are, they, are, they, like, are these redesigned? Are they ancient chow? Because, like, stone chow? Rock chow? Like, no, don't, don't redesign the chow. That's a classic design. We just want the regular chow back. Like, I don't understand. Is this, like, a new evolution? Maybe that could be cool? I'm kind of a purist when it comes to chow. Like, don't mess with that. Also, if you notice... Yeah, like right there. Do you know, like right around there, do you see that that one seems to have sort of a question mark? It's sort of like that question mark emotion dot type thing that like Chow usually have. So, I mean, it's good that they're going attention to detail. If these are Chow, I don't necessarily like their new design. I'm trying to, I'm, you saw a slightly better angle when he was on. Oh, and that's just it, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's just it. Um... Yeah, they, they don't really show us what that does. But yeah, bottom bottom right of the screen right here. Like, look at this one. Uh, I'll, I'll zoom back a bit so it can... 
I guess that's just uh, a new type of emotion dot on its head. It's dancing around. They don't seem to have arms or appendages or anything. Do we get to see what this one does? Okay, no, it spawns another spiky heart-looking thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's that's really all the gameplay we got. I mean, you, you got to see more because we sort of slowed it down and analyzed it bit by bit. But that's pretty much all we got. They They did say at the beginning they were focusing on exploration today although is this just an, a section that's more exploratory or are they going to add more enemies npcs i'm guessing the world will feel empty at first but then you'll eventually run into npcs later so there's there's still some potential here but i'm not sure i need to go back to like uh sort of the, the first bit of it here i want to see how long his spin jump lasts when he jumps because like turning radius I'll, I'll get to that with spin cycle in a second but i want to look at spin jump again Okay, no, I can't really tell because he sort of... He punched there on purpose. <laughs> His face there. It did look like Sonic would stay in spin jump. Mmm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Let's see, watch. Spin jump. Right there, he uncurls. And that was that was before he activated the stomp. See, this is what I was worried about. Right there. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, right there, he uncurls from it. So it seems like it's long enough that if you jump from the ground and land, you'll stay in spin jump. Whether or not you can hit enemies in that, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be testing that when this game is released. But, like, see, I, that was what I worried that they would do. They would just make him stay in the animation for a set amount of time. They, they shouldn't do that. They need to make it so it, like, detects the ground below him and says, like, un, like from the moment he leaves the ground to the moment he hits the ground, he should stay in that spin jump animation. I guess if you're dropping, you can just stomp. Again, maybe it's a minor nitpick, but... Like, hey, if you're just on the ground and he stays in the spin jump the whole time and he's still able to, you know, bounce off of enemies. And also it's going to depend if he stays in that spin jump as he's bouncing off of enemies. Because there, there's some times that I would probably want to try that. Um, but, you know, there's the stomp. I do like this, though. Because boost eliminated... One positive thing about boost is, is it eliminates the fatal flaw of Sonic not having a hitbox while maintaining maximum speed. This, since it's more oriented with combat... You won't have to jump. You can just press in a button, a button, and you'll immediately go into the homing attack, which is kind of nice that you do that when you're locked on. Uh, or maybe there's just a separate button for it. But, you know, that, that sort of gives him a hitbox that he can jump into right away, and you have less vulnerability frames. So that's, that's a plus that I've noticed. Um, let's uh, jump to the... Uh, this is more about the exploration. The tower's kind of cool. The climbing's kind of unnecessary. I want to go to the rail section. Now this part, homing attacking. The, uh, the homing points, basically. I want to sort of jump to that. Yeah, okay, we can fast forward past this. Curious to see what the Emerald is. I wonder if he'll demo the cyberspace levels, if that part of the leak is confirmed. Yeah, that uh, rail detection's a bit off there. He flipped the wrong way. Oh yeah, here's something else I forgot to touch on. I don't know if you all noticed this one, but when you're on the rail, see this thing right here? What does this look like? So, you see like the, there's the, like the two arms, and then there's like the, the legs there. This isn't one of like the behemoth titans we saw, but it's definitely one of those, those large titan-like creatures. But as you can see, it looks like it's not active yet. And as Sonic restores everything, like maybe this is a guardian that will activate that Sonic can run up and defeat. And I'm guessing likely when this, they'll probably be like that, that red spiky marker looking thing on its head. So when Sonic runs, runs up and is able to defeat it, it'll likely spawn something different. Uh, but yeah, no, I think that's what we saw in the trailer that he was able to run up. But it looks, it just looks like a stoic uh, statue at this point. So that's, that's kind of interesting. You know, now obviously you're supposed to homing attack here. 
but I mean, you know, uh, you, you don't get um, that much momentum uh, from performing the homing attacks. They keep Sonic relatively still, which I guess is okay. It's, I guess it's all right. I would like to see a little more movement out of that. Um, not necessarily upwards. Upwards seems okay. Uh, but in terms of the horizontal momentum, it would be cool if you could get a little more from that. I, I guess it's all right. It's not the worst. But, but like, let's say hypothetically over here, it wouldn't be that practical. But let's say I just wanted to use spin jump on these rather than homing attack. Could I still bounce off of them? These are kind of cheap sounding effects, I guess. Maybe it was here that we saw the, uh, the emerald. It seems weird that the wind box would interact with the... Yeah, it doesn't feel like he interacted with that. Like, that's kind of... I don't know about that one. Eh, don't know about that. Still early build, I suppose, but I don't know. This game's been in development for like five years, right? So... So there are some enemies. It looks like you can pick and choose your battles. Yeah, like I said, the maximum speed running animation is fine. It's just like the standing animation that makes him look constipated, and it, it's the uh, it's the uh, normal run without the speed boost that makes him look uh, kind of constipated. And I, I hope they fix that. The fact that um, it's more focused around combat and not like the boosting hitbox to tear through enemies is better. I like that. So that's definitely a positive. Not much else to say. I've, I've pretty much analyzed everything. The ring animations look alright. Tricks look kind of stiff. Um, hmm. want to kind of look at this running from before. Not here, but... Uh, I'm a little worried about the turning radius. I kind of want to... Like, the rail is automatic, but... A little hard to tell there. I think we should be able to tell from here. Hmm. They've slowed down the boost to give you just a quick burst of speed to make him a bit more agile, I suppose? The, the turning still feels... Okay, that was a good example. Let's, let's look at that one. Because that was a pretty sharp turn, right? That wasn't bad. It, it still feels like you lose speed as you're turning, but that's probably okay just for a, a slight dose of extra realism. Because that was something I wanted to analyze, the turning radius. It's a little too early to tell. He obviously had to slow down. When you're at maximum running speed, I can understand why you wouldn't have as good of a turning radius. It seems like Sonic can turn with the camera better. That's a plus. Yeah, I, I will say the turning radius seems better. It still seems like, since they're using forces, Sonic, it seems a bit stiff. But it does seem better. It does seem slightly better on, on uh, another glance. Sonic still seems a bit slow, but I think that can be mitigated by, um, by the, the quick speed burst. I wouldn't know what purpose the trick served. Because boost seems like limitless, you can just burst any time. It seems like you can slightly carry momentum. It's a little bit better. Oh wait, that was the time. Yeah, we got a better view of it there. Let's uh... So we get a better view of this Emerald Shrine right here. Let's take a look at this. That That's a good full view right there. So uh... There's some rails. There's some interesting-looking pieces of terrain. I, I do kind of like the aesthetic. Uh, that this seems sort of original. The overall, again, I'm I'm telling you, I'm seeing Titanic Plane from Black Knight, which I like. Um, and let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's a, a wall run area. I guess it's with Knuckles. It was kind of stupid because he should be able to climb everywhere. With Sonic, it's actually fine if it's like, oh hey, you can use your speed to sort of magnetize you to the walls here. Uh, I guess it's the nature of the walls, which it's passable. That's practical. It's fine. You know that that feels like believable, I suppose. Um, 
yeah, you probably need enough speed or you need to find the sections that will get you to that shrine. They're probably not going there intentionally to wait to show it off. Hmm. Mm, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, it's seeming interesting so far. There's probably something you need to activate to get there. Uh, there was some rail pop in there. I, I sort of saw that. Again, I won't I won't nitpick if the if the gameplay feels good. And, and so far it seems it's stiff, but it's okay. My my biggest thing is like it's like there's a one part we saw momentum. I wish I hope that Sonic has a roll and not a slide because I want him to be able to have rolling physics downhill and not just use the speed burst or the boost because it still feels like it's just carried over from boost gameplay. Um, let's go here to. Uh, yeah, that, that did not look like the cleanest animation, because Sonic's not really interacting with you, just holding out his hand. It's a bit strange. Oh, the run still does not look that great. So yeah, here, I guess, let's look what happens with Spin Cycle. Is it like a speed break, time break, soul surge type thing? It kind of feels like that. It does feel sort of like with Spin Cycle. Yeah. And it's, you know, as we saw before, it does feel like um, it's basically just Ribbon Loop from Pac-Man World 3. Like, that's exactly how it functions. It seems like he has limitless access to it, which honestly seems fine. I don't know if he's invincible in it. I would guess not. Can't be that generous. It does seem like it slows down time, I will say that. I... It, I'm thinking that's what it does, so it gives him a bit of a perception advantage. They probably took that from Infinity Engine, which that's pretty good. Um, so yeah. You know, that that's kind of interesting. Um, sorry, I'm just going to look at it one more time. Analyze it once more again. Yeah. It looks like there's a little bit of slowdown. Like, maybe it slows down Sonic's perception of time. Makes you feel like you're faster. And it seems like the turning radius is the thing that I'm curious about. The rain and grass effects look all right. Not really seeing too many problems there. Yeah, that's, you know, it seems like they slowed Sonic's speed down specifically for combat, which honestly is fine, since you kind of need to do that to make combat more realistic. It seems like with the intended speed, you can maintain it for combat purposes, which is, that that's what you need to do. It still feels stiff since they're using forces controls, but I feel like overall, it seems better. It seems like a, a modern Sonic Control type thing, but it seems like modern Sonic Control is better than in Forces. Let's look at this one more time, and then we'll uh, we'll close out this analysis. Yeah, he's maintaining some speed, but it's it's really not a lot. It seems like you get like sort of an extra, a little bit of height from a jump dash with that, because there's like an air dash, an air boost kind of, and then the the ground dash, which I I guess is kind of like the speed break. It's just to get Sonic up to up to speed, which is okay. Is there anything I can notice here about this rail section? Is there anything that we that seems hidden here? Oh, there's another one of those heart things up there. Those heart collectibles. And it seems like it'd be pretty easy to get up there. You just kind of interact with the environment. Most of the puzzles seem like platforming puzzles. Which is like, you know... It could get old and boring fast, but, you know, it, it is kind of, like, fun to go on some of these interactable objects. It looks all right. It looks decent, not great. Not really better than what I was expecting, but not worse either. But, again, it's, it's still too early to tell. Um... I guess we can get a better idea of turning radius with this puzzle here, but Sonic's intentionally moving pretty slow, and that just seems like forces walking speed with um, with this right here. That's the other thing, too. Like, I'm a little worried that they're doing some Lost World stuff here. And what I mean by that is... 
are they? Okay, there. Oh, there was another, another like. Yeah, there's some chow in the background here, or whatever those things are. But see, to me, it feels like that was like another thing. Like they in Sonic Boom, there were scrapped ideas for redesigning the chow, and those chow designs did not look good. So I hope they're not recycling that idea here. Uh, the environment looks all right. Um, not everything meshes perfectly, but it looks okay. And, yeah, it feels weird, because in that part, it looks like he's not really gaining momentum. Like, there's a jog that he sort of gains. I need to look back at the part where he's running. Because to me, if they're doing a... Like, what I mean by Sonic Lost World is, like, is there a run... There's a boost button. There's a speed burst button. But is there a run button? Because that would be really bad if they did that. It's it's hard to tell there. I'm not sure. Mm, I don't know. I because mm. it feels like Sonic slows down, but he's staying in that run animation, which is weird to me. It's like I guess it could work for combat. It it still feels like it would be stiff. Yeah, he had to do the speed boost thing there to get the speed. And that's just more rails. Trick animations. No, let me let me see here. Okay, no, you know what? That hmm. Difficult to tell. It could just be the animations. Was that the sound of water or was that a run button sound? I'm trying to see what I can. Yeah, the, the tricks are really stiff. They're really stiff. Generations, they were way smoother. I hope they fix that. The speed feels more like Sonic 1, which is strange, but it's all right for combat, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to tell if there's an actual run button. You can't tell from this. Um... And I, I think he attacked right away there. I don't think he jumped. Let me see. Yeah, confirmed. That he he didn't have to jump to do that. You get you get an instant homing attack from the ground. I wonder if that's an unlockable skill, but I'm not sure. But that's kind of cool. Yeah, the tricks the tricks seem weird. I did want to talk about the um, the sound effects for the attacking animations on the enemies. Like the sound effects seem pretty cool. It it gave more impact with the way Sonic uh, moved. They didn't want to show off combat too much, I guess, because it was exploration today. Oh, look at that. There's a, another little collectible up there. Um, but yeah, you did notice that Sonic had like some punch actions, like there was some combat on the ground. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're, they're using like, they're already giving him Spin Cycle, which is a ribbon loop equivalent from Pac-Man World 3. Maybe they're giving him like, like Pac-Man's punch abilities. I still feel like they need to give some sense of momentum which is kind of there, but not really. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, still hard to tell. Now let me go through to... Uh, yeah. Use that. It was that again. The puzzle. And then there was, there was this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I saw something new, I... What is, what is this right here? That's no chow. That's... Because that was moving. Yeah, it, it moved. Let me, let me go back again. Watch right here. See, he moved. He put down his arms. I don't know what that is. That's, uh, that's a new kind of creature. That seems like it, it would be friendly. Uh, the enemies seem to have that darker sort of, um, like, uh, dead space marker kind of aesthetic. I don't like that you have to double jump, it should just put you right there. Well, I mean, okay. You know what? No, that's, uh... Less automation is always good. So, you know what? Let's 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 actually praise it. That's I'll give him that. It just seems weird, because you could just jump up there without the spring regardless, so... I'm not sure. Why, why is he... Why are you walking so slow? Ah, well, anyway. Yeah, no, that's, uh... We, we got to see a better view of some of the things we saw from yesterday. Environment looks interesting. Uh, you know, turning radius looks okay. Spin jump looks okay. 
it's still a bit stiff. It's still too early to tell. It's it's not bad, but it's not great either. I don't know. I have mixed opinions on this. Um, I've been hearing through uh, um, uh, so my my friends found some some tweets and have been like relaying the information to me that supposedly Friday we that we might get some uh, some insight into combat. And Friday, of course, I was gonna uh, stream a game. So I, I guess you guys will be getting two videos on Friday. We'll we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much all the thoughts I have. So be uploading this. Let me know what you guys think about Sonic Frontiers so far. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Um, but yeah, I'm analyzing this so far. If they're doing this, what I don't like is the fact that they're only doing snippets here and there and sort of revealing it just bit by bit throughout the month. I feel like, oh, they're just building hype to do that, right? But it's like, it's Sega. They haven't really proven that, they're, that they have something solid yet. So I don't really feel like they, they have the, the right to like... Um, well, I shouldn't say the right, but they don't really have, uh, they haven't really built the reputation that they can do that um, like uh, other companies could because they, they can't really tease it and expect us to be like, oh yeah, we're hyped for this. It's like, I'm sort of hyped, but not, it's, you know, I'm not convinced yet. You know, we're, we're obviously still going to like play this on the channel, but like, that's not what this is about. This is about like uh, talking to new fans and people who are curious about Sonic and to see what you guys think. Like, do, do you, are you convinced from this? Would you want to buy the game just from seeing this? But that's the whole point of uh, us being Sonic content creators is to give you guys that information and, uh, and, and just let you give you like impressions. Because uh, with me, I'm a classic and adventure fan. So I expect to see, you know, Sega go back to that aesthetic at some point, especially with Flynn, who's been with uh, as a writer for the series for the comics for a long time, to sort of go back to that. Uh, curious to see if they reveal anything about the story. Um, let's hope that we get some combat uh, reveals on uh, on Friday. Um, if not, they'll probably reveal like some interview stuff. But they're likely going to space it out. I hope we reveal combat because that's like uh, it seems the big selling point of this game. I'm glad that that's returning. I'm glad that not all enemies are like one hit kill. So I think they're listening to that. But yeah, you know what? I've, I've rambled for long enough. So let me know what you guys think. We're gonna go go, go ahead and close out the video. Um, uh, I'm thinking about bringing a, a new game on Friday, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. If uh, if if it, if it becomes too tight, I might save the gameplay for next week. We might just do a simple stream, maybe Sonic Battle R, maybe some PO6. But uh, there might be a new game I want to play. I'm gonna see if I can uh, look into it tomorrow, get it working. Because um, I wanted to do something to sort of celebrate the idea that uh, Origins will be coming to the channel soon, uh, Sonic Origins. So it, it seems like an appropriate game to run. But uh, we'll get into it anyway. This is Lightning Thunderbolt signing off. Hope you all enjoyed the videos. Uh, and as always, until next time, thank you all for watching, and keep on staying way past cool.